Hello friends, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and this is part 13 of Azure Data Factory tutorial series. Now before watching to this video, I would highly recommend to watch my previous video in which we have discussed how to parameterize Azure Data Factory linked services and data sets. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about how to parameterize the pipeline. But again, I would highly recommend to watch my previous videos because uh, it's the continuation of my previous videos. So let's get started. How to parameterize a pipeline within Azure Data Factory. All right, guys. So if you are following along to, the, to this tutorial series, uh, we have created these parameters for linked services. And similarly, we created some parameters for data sets. Now this all we created for understanding how to create a data set and then how to pass a value. Now we are going to explore how can we create a parameter for a pipeline. So in order to create a parameter for a pipeline, it's again very simple. What we can do is we can go on to the main page like here on within a pipeline. We are not selecting any activity inside a pipeline. Just click on a blank space and here you will get an option to create a parameter. Now, whatever parameter we are going to create, we can pass its value on the runtime on the go. So uh, let's do one thing. I'll just go ahead and discard all the changes to keep it very simple. Uh, I'll just, oh, sorry, instead of publishing, I'll just go ahead and close and discard all the changes and we'll limit to only one or two parameters so that we can keep it very simple and understand. All right, so I have successfully deleted all the parameters which we created as part of our previous video so that we can keep it uh, very simple. And just to save some time on this video, I have also updated the linked service and passed all of them actual value instead of keeping it parameterized. Now, what I will do to keep it very simple, uh, we'll go ahead and select the data. I uh, will select the copy activity, go into the data set and we'll create one data set level a parameter. So for example, I'll go ahead and select the parameter within a data set and say new. So now because I have selected source data set, so I'll say source table name and go into the connection. And here what I will do instead of passing dim customer table name, I'll just open back to save that. Okay. Instead of passing this particular name, what I will do, I'll go ahead and select this particular parameter and hit OK. Similarly, what I will do, I'll select the sync data set, hit open and create a new parameter over here and I'll name it as destination table name. Again, go back to connection, edit and instead of having this customer table name, I'll save it and I will use the parameter over here. Now, what we have done so far, we have created two parameters, one in each data set for source and destination. Now, if we come back onto this copy activity, on the main window, you would notice it is asking for the value of that particular parameter, which we created at the data set level in both. Now, as we did in the previous video, we hard coded this value over here. But in this video, instead of hard coding this value, what we want, we want to pass it on the go using pipeline parameters. So I'll click on the blank space, go into the parameters. These parameters would be created at the pipeline level. So I'll create as source table name and I'll maybe add pipeline here so that I can, you know, by seeing its name, I would know I have created it for the pipeline level and not for the data set level. Similarly, I'll create one more destination table name underscore pipeline. Now what I will go, what I will do, I'll go into that first data set. If I go back, like select the copy activity, select the source, go inside the source data set. I mean, on this particular window here, I'll go ahead and select, click on add dynamic content. And I will go ahead and select the pipeline that we, that I, sorry, I'm going to go ahead and select the parameter which we created at the pipeline level and select source table name parameter and hit OK. Similarly, I will select the sync data set and here I will say add dynamic content and select destination table name pipeline parameter and hit OK. Now what I can do, I can go ahead and 
publish all these changes and let's wait for a few more seconds while it is publishing okay all right it's done so now i can go ahead and close this data set window now how can we pass this so for example if we want to execute this particular pipeline then if i am going to go ahead and click on debug then every time i'm going to execute this pipeline it will ask to provide those parameters so for instance here i'm going to you know provide the source table name that was dim customer and similarly destination is the customer table and hit ok now once i will do that it will start executing for now i'm going to go ahead and click on cancel now how we can you know utilize this what we can do here is so just for instance whatever you know whatever parameter we are going to pass if i just let's wait while it is executing it didn't got cancelled okay successfully cancelled so what i was trying to explain here whatever parameters we have created here at the pipeline level and we are passing its value on the runtime that value will be eventually passed within the data set and un inside the data set that value will be passed here so what we can do here if we want to execute this particular pipeline and for a different execute we want to pass a different table name then we can create we can create some triggers so for instance if i show you i'll go ahead and you know create a new trigger so let's say i'll just say new now at this point of time if you're not sure what is trigger then i would highly recommend to go ahead and watch my previous videos where we have discussed in details different type of triggers and how to create them so for now i will go ahead and select the schedule trigger and uh, let's select the same time and hit ok now whenever i'm going to hit ok it is going to ask for that you know values that i need to pass to execute the pipeline so i'll just go ahead and pass those values again here customer table oops and dim customer for source now i can go ahead and hit ok now this is something we have created a parameter if i go back onto the manage sorry if i go back onto the you know manage and go into the triggers then this is the trigger one that we have created and inside that trigger we pass that particular table name now what we can do we can create a new trigger i'll just go ahead and hit new and say new trigger and let's say trigger 2 now when i'm going to create this new trigger for the same pipeline it will again ask for those values now in this scenario maybe i will pass i can pass some other table name so table you know table name 2 and similarly table name 2 so what does it mean is as we discussed in our previous videos triggers have many to many relationship with the pipeline so different triggers can execute the same pipeline now here what we are trying to achieve is the same pipeline will be executed by two different triggers and those two different triggers will pass different table names now whenever that value is passed by triggers that value would be passed inside this you know pipeline level parameters and then these pipeline parameters will pass that value to the data set level parameters and then it will execute successfully now it is worth mentioning as i mentioned there are some other options also through which we can pass value to these parameters right now we are passing this value through pipeline parameters in our upcoming videos we will see how can we create a config table in the sql and then call those values from that table and pass them as a part of parameter within the azure data factory pipeline so i hope it was not very confusing if you are like uh, if you need any further help please do let me know in the comments i would love to answer that for now i hope you like the content and it was easy to understand how can we you know create different type of parameters at the limb service level data set level and the pipeline level so if you did please go ahead and hit the like button and do subscribe to my youtube channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day